So today I'm going to show you using the Autodesk 123D design app uh, how to take an item that you've drawn and save it as an STL. So I have this item here that I've drawn and I want to save it and I'm going to go to uh, save to cloud. At this point you've got to set up um, an Autodesk cloud account. You can do that by signing up here or by uh, signing in with the account you already have. I already have an account so I'm going to sign up under mine. Um, at sd36.bc.ca okay you look that way so they don't see my password no cheating okay so I'm all done I'm gonna log in once I've logged into uh, the cloud it's automatically gonna save my item to the cloud but first it's gonna ask me a couple questions it's gonna want to know first of all is this public um, so I am gonna make this public so anyone can have this little item that I made because I want to share I'm gonna call it cylinder one I'm going to tag it as Fraser Heights all one word in case I want to search it and find it in description it's a cylinder with hole okay when I'm done I'm going to hit upload we'll let it upload while it's doing that we're going to go onto our computer the one that's attached to the 3d printer and you're going to go to the 123d app website and there you're going to sign into your account so again it's going to ask you for your uh, information Okay. All right. <clears throat> so we're logged in, or almost logged in. I'm going to go to my account in the corner and go to my models and my projects. And here we've got cylinder one. And it's shown up on here. Uh, what I can do here, um, you know, I have to give it a couple minutes so it actually completely loads onto the cloud. Um, but what will happen when it's all done down by file types is it'll come up as an STL file. Then you can click that and download it. Unfortunately, this one hasn't loaded yet, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to select one that I uploaded earlier. And so this one I uploaded about five minutes ago, and it gives me the option to download as an STL. So all I have to do at this point is select STL and then download, and then it'll come through on my downloads. I can unzip that file and open it with the 3D printing software. Okay, when you're all done that, the last thing you need to do is go back to your iPad and you're going to want to sign out of your cloud account so other people are not saving to your account. So you'll go up to the top to your account and then select sign out. And that's it. All done.